It's 7 a.m. and we're heading we're heading to the surgery. I did not sleep last night. No? Anytime I have something like this, except I've never done this before, but like a big thing, I like dream Christmas. about it. No. <laughs> Like a bigger event, like I, I don't, I mean, I guess I slept a little bit, but I know that I was awake a lot. But I'll like dream about it, like six different times, and then in my dreams, I'm like, I like, I'm not gonna explain it, but like I'm not allowed to, I wasn't allowed to drink anything or eat anything after midnight, so I kept having dreams that I would like eat something, and then I'd be like, oh crap, I ate something, but then in my dream, I'd be like, oh, but this isn't real, it's just a dream, but like this is real sleep. life now. Well, I did a little bit, but I was awake most of the night. Most of in my dream, I would be like, oh, it's okay, this is a dream, this is a real life. But then I'd still be like, dreamy. And then in the real life, I would eat something again. And then I'd be like, oh crap, oh, okay, but it's just a dream, it's not real life. And then in the real life, I'd eat something again. And then if you like eat something, they have to like reschedule it or whatever. So I just kept like freaking out in my dream. I don't know, I just like feel weird. <laughs> I just am comparing it to my wisdom teeth and that recovery was really not bad for me. So I, I know this is different and like more, <laughs> yeah. more painful probably, but I don't know. We're heading into the appointment. How do you feel? I'm excited. Yeah. I'm just thinking about the needle they're going to put in my arm. The last yeah, time so that nose is going to be gone. Is Look how weird? cute. Yeah. Are you excited? I don't know. I just like, I just want to get it over with. So I'm getting in the elevator, going down to get the car ready because Aspen is done. She's out of the surgery room. She's been out for a little bit, like all drugged up and loopy. So we've been like, I had to feed her. We had to give her some water. Hello. Hi. She's still coming off the anesthesia. So she's kind of loopy and we had to get her some pain medicine. So we had to give her food and she like didn't want to eat she was fighting it so we had to like kind of force feed her but it's all good now she's calmed down a little bit so we're ready to get the car and head back to the hotel i was vlogging and the elevator opened and i got off and it was the wrong floor you think everyone's being nice yes i mean so nice <laughs> are you grateful for them how's the food you just responding to comments? What do they say? They said what? Do they love and support you? Yeah. Okay, I feel pretty good. I just can't breathe out of my nose. It doesn't really hurt, and I can see it, I think. You can see it? Is this it? Don't touch it. I can't really feel it if what? I touch it. Is this my nose? Yes, that's your nose. Wow. So I had some snacks and then I'm watching friends and I keep crying because I love you. <laughs> She's been very emotional, huh? Yeah. The medication makes you emotional. Good morning, guys. Today is Saturday, the day after the surgery, and we're heading home. We booked the hotel until Sunday because we didn't know how long Aspen would be down and she didn't know how long she'd be down, but she feels great. So we're heading home today instead. We gotta come back up here at the end of the week. So we'll be back. go you look so cute with your new nose babe <laughs> let me go grab you a fork really quick Aspen's sick so I made her dinner 
And here it is. She's shirtless, so <laughs> don't look. And she has a different face. We got home from up north two hours ago. She just immediately came in and laid down. And I've just been laying around all day too. My friend Evan came over and we might go longboarding or something, so. Barely see us. Me and Evan are on a longboard ride. Just around the neighborhood. In the dust and bowl. And all of a sudden, yeah, a dust bowl starts. It's really windy. It was dirt. It's really, it sucks. We're riding into the dirt. This was a bad idea to come longboarding. This sucks! What's up guys? So it is Sunday now. I've been me I've been needing to build myself a little workbench. I'm gonna build it right here in this little corner. And I haven't had much time to do it. And since Aspen is down in bed for like however long she's gonna be in bed. I decided it's gonna be a great day to build my workbench. So I've got my wood, got some saws, and I am ready to build my bench. So far, this is what it looks like. I've got it all framed, put together. Now I've just gotta chop up some pieces of this to put on top and then a little shelf down there. So I'm getting a lot closer to having this done. For some reason this stupid saw's life, battery lifespan is like 30 seconds. So literally chopping this piece of wood took me like 20 minutes cause I had to chop to like here, recharge it, chop to here, recharge it, and then right here I messed up and I'm waiting for it to recharge so I can slice that part off. And then I have to slice this in half to make a shelf for this. Coming along quite nicely. I'm pretty excited about this. It's so windy and rainy outside. I love it. Okay guys, so I finished up for the day. I'm not done with the complete project, so I still have a little bit to do, but this is what I got done today. Nice little storage area down there, the workbench. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang that holy, do you hear that? Holy cow. I'm gonna put wood and stuff right here and hang tools from it. And I think that I'm gonna hang my bike up on the wall right up there. And I'm gonna hang that up there. I think I'm eventually gonna add on to this a little farther down, but it feels so good to just get something done like that. I built that bench right there with my bare hands and some saws and drills and screws and stuff. Hi guys, so I thought I'd give you a little update. <laughs> I haven't really vlogged at all, but this is what it looks like. Um, You're only supposed to wear the gauze stuff for like a day until it kind of stops bleeding, so don't mind the fact that it still looks kind of gross down here. Obviously, I sound a little funny because you can't breathe out of your nose at all. There's like stuff inside, so I have to breathe out of my mouth. Um, I'm getting a lot of questions about everything, so I decided that I would make a full on like experience Q&A video on my main channel. I don't even want to talk right now because I sound is so annoying. So I think I'll do that in about a week or two. Today's Sunday and I get the cast off on Thursday, and so I think to... I don't know, I have like a bunch of videos pre-filmed, so I will film one of those. I will answer all your guys' questions and make sure you're following me on Twitter because I will tweet like what questions you guys have. So I'll talk about the experience of it and answer questions. But um, today is Sunday and I probably should shower. <laughs> I haven't showered since the surgery, which is on Friday morning, so that's not that long. It's only like missing one day of showering. I'm probably gonna shower in like I don't know 30 minutes but i've pretty much just been sitting in bed i'm really glad that we came home early because we were planning on coming home today and i just because i didn't know how i would be or whatever so we ended up coming home a day early and i'm really glad we did because this thingy is like a lifesaver i could not sleep the night before the surgery because i was really nervous and then the night after i was just super uncomfortable because we were like in a hotel room and it's just like it's just uncomfortable. It's not painful at all. Seriously, like not even a two out of 10 on the pain scale. It really doesn't hurt at all. It's just really uncomfortable to have this and to not be able to like breathe out of my nose. I could not sleep like the, the first night after and I was like freaking out. I like started crying. <laughs> you have to like sleep on your back and you have to breathe out of your mouth. And so I would start to like slowly fall asleep a little bit, like breathing out of my mouth. And then I would close my mouth because normally I don't sleep with it open. So then like five seconds later, I'd wake up like, or I wasn't fully sleeping, but I'd like 
realize I wasn't breathing and I'd like freak out and then I have to sleep with it like super dark in the room so if there's like there's two clocks in a room there was like one on the microwave and one on like the actual clock and I was like I literally just like was bawling and I was like the clocks are too bright like I was freaking out because I was just like exhausted <laughs> like so uncomfortable and tired so Parker got up and like covered them and then they'll the windows like the curtains just sucked so it was letting in a lot of light even though it was like dark outside but i just like couldn't sleep and i was like so claustrophobic so i am so glad we came home because last night i feel like i actually got a good amount of sleep and i think i ended up waking up today at like six but then all of a sudden i think i guess i like fell asleep again and it was like 11 30 when i got up so i feel a lot better um yeah i pretty much just been like sitting in bed i feel fine i'm just really tired so it's been nice to have just a little bit of like relaxing time but it's just really uncomfortable uh, as you can see, it doesn't really look that bad. I definitely thought my black eyes would be a lot worse, but I did. They gave me this option to get this like herbal medication or something that's supposed to like help with swelling and black eyes. So I got that and I've just been taking all of like whatever medicine they prescribed me. So I feel good. I'm really surprised it doesn't hurt at all. Uh, Parker's out there like building his workbench. He's been really nice and he made me like lunch and breakfast and stuff. So he's taking really good care of me i feel good i'm just glad to like i'm just really glad it's not painful i was worried it was gonna hurt really bad just been watching tv all day i'm actually like so bored and this is like starting to drive me insane it's bugging me so much just because it feels weird and if you guys have ever slept with like a breathe right strip on they like it's just like a little plastic strip that's like sticky and you put it on your nose so it like opens your nose so that you don't really snore and I've slept with those before and I keep thinking it's that. So I keep wanting to just like pull it off. But obviously I'm like not, not supposed to touch it. But this is yeah what it looks like. It's just skin colored. And it's like taped right here. I don't want to show you guys like too much. Because there's like a little bit of like blood and like whatever. Like not Neosporin but like some type of like stuff that you clean it with is on there. But um yeah i've just been editing some pictures like cleaning off my computer watching tv i really want to take a bath but they told me that i can't do that so i need to shower in a minute also i don't know what they did but i think they gave me a little bit of a fat lip i don't know if you guys can see right here i don't really know if you can tell but it's kind of numb and it kind of hurts and i don't know what it would be from but it's like only on this one side i'm just really excited to get the cast off i still have like four full days i think that's the part i'm dragging the most because i've heard that that's the worst part is like because i guess there's there's stitches in your nose and there's also like I, don't, I can't remember the other word i don't know if it's splints or it's something that i don't know but there's like stuff like in here like little like things that are holding your nose like in place so you have to get those taken out and you have to get the stitches cut and i've heard that's the most painful part and to have to drive all the way back up to salt lake and then all the way back home just for that is kind of a pain so that's the only part that i'm like Ugh. so far it really has not been bad at all just slightly uncomfortable and sleeping definitely hasn't been that easy especially since i sleep on my stomach so trying to sleep on my back is really hard and i keep like waking up on my side but i have this under my head so nothing's really like touching my nose so it's fine I think I don't know <laughs> so I'll definitely be vlogging more than I thought I would just because I just had no idea what to like expect or anything and I feel fine like I said it's just a little uncomfortable so uh this video is gonna go up on Monday and then the day after that's gonna be our blindfolded driving challenge so I think we'll have this vlog and then that vlog and then one more like recovery vlog and then the next one will be me getting my cast off because I don't want to do too many vlogs of just me like sitting here because it's all just like kind of boring you know so <laughs> there will only be like a couple vlogs of that but I'll do one of me getting the cast off and like a little like reveal or whatever it's still going to be kind of swollen it like takes a couple weeks for the swelling to go down and I think it takes like six months to a year for the swelling to like completely go down but I think you don't really like notice it that much unless you like know that it's a little bit swollen but i really have no idea but so far it looks pretty good um i just i don't really remember like what i've told you guys already but um this part is like down a little bit more and then this part is in and the doctor explained to me that um let's see if i have a picture i don't really i don't think i have one i just deleted everything off my computer but because this part of my nose was out a little bit farther it would like pull up on my lip and i've noticed that always that like if i close them like it didn't they didn't fully touch in like this one spot so i think it was kind of like pulling it up a little more but it would kind of pull my lip up a little bit so they wouldn't like 
like they would fit together but i was just like that bugs me like that's so weird it's almost like there's like a little gap or something so i don't think any of you guys would have ever noticed that and like i'm sure even now me saying it you like don't notice a difference but my lips fit together better if that makes any sense so i'm excited about that because i was like that bugs me so much that it does that like it just made my lips look uneven so now it looks better yeah that's my little update